What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another co-part walk around over here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City, yard number 18. I don't have a lot of time because you know me, I'm always running late. So let's jump right into this. Number one on my list. We're not gonna spend much time on this one, guys, but I've always wanted a Honda Del Sol. Never had one. This is not the one for me, and I'll show you guys why in just a minute. It's got relatively low miles for a 96, 135,000. I always thought these were really cool because it's got a target top, and this back window rolls down. I've always thought rolling around with that back window down was super, super cool. Now, this, obviously, is why this car is not for me. Uh, it, it is, it's this, she's done. <laughs> she, she's got me stuttering. She's got me stuttering, man. This, this car is done, and... Don't ask me what happened to the front wheel because it's, <laughs> it's just gone, man. It's missing. All right. Uh, somebody had the ECU out of there for some reason. Just kind of left it. It honestly smells relatively good in there. What is going on down here? That's weird. Uh, someone just took, the <laughs> just took the wheel off and said, well, F it. Man, they just left it sitting there like that. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys around. Let's go find something else. How about a little bit of hail? We haven't done a hail car in a while, so why don't we check this one out? Look at this. <laughs> wow. Man, that almost makes me dizzy just walking around and looking at it myself. Like, this is... Wow. Oh, and it's wrecked, too? Oh, my goodness. This... <laughs> yeah, this one's done, guys. This one's done. Not only was it severely hail damaged, but it's also it's also been in an accident. Yeah, I didn't know that. I knew about the hail. Look at this, guys. What is going on here? It almost looks like somebody tried to fix the hail damage. Can you see? Can you see that? Let me get you zoomed in a little bit here. Hold on. I bet I can make this a little better. There you go. Look at that. Look at that right there as I move the camera around. You see that? It's all over. It's almost like somebody used body filler. Look at this. Look at that. I think that's all body filler. Someone tried body filling the dents and you ended up with a mess. You ended up with something that just, it looks awful. That looks absolutely awful. Oh, they did it on the roof too. They did it on the roof too, all over. Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's shady. That's shady. Guess they didn't bother with the hood. Probably, they were probably going to replace the hood. That'd be my guess. They're just going to swap the hood out. It's a low miles car. You can change out the hood. Yeah, it's, it's this way on the fenders too, man. Like, the whole... Wow. So they had someone skim coat the whole car except for the hood. And, uh, it still came out... <laughs> still came out looking ugly. Oh, Wow. Let's see if she starts up, man. I'm sure she will, but we're already here, so we might as well at least just... I wonder what insurance paid out for this. Like, I bet it wasn't much with that hail damage. Oh, she's not running well either. She's not running very well at all. Ooh. Oh, she's vibrating bad. Yeah, this 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 poor car, man. This poor car. I I feel bad for it. What is that? That is so ugly. What What is that? That almost looks like my Honda Fit, man, except Honda I think did a better job. That right there, that pillar. That is awful. In this door. Look at this. Look what Come on, man. Oh, that's uh, that's rough, guys. <laughs> this, this poor car is rough. Let's go find something else. Well, here's something. I kind of like it, man. It's it's kind of like a big car, a small SUV. It's listed as a non-runner. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's only got 8,000 miles on it. How much could be wrong with this? It's a 13 GL 450 Formatic. I'm wondering if this is a flood. Let's see. I don't know if this is wrecked. No, she's not wrecked. It's from Colorado. It's got Colorado temp tags. Hold on, is it wrecked over here or something? No, it's not wrecked at all. 
Okay, here we go. Is it flooded? Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is nice. It came with a letter. We did not drain the oil, but we did drain half a gallon of water from the oil pan. There is probably more. Spark plugs and coils are removed in the box inside the rear cargo area of the vehicle, the air filter housings, and engine cover. With the spark plugs removed, the engine will rotate, but the vehicle is driving when it ingested the water. There is a very good chance that there's internal engine issues. The starter will not operate. It will not even cause the solenoid to click when voltage is supplied to the starter. Activation wire, 50 at the relay. The starter has also probably failed. Okay, well, there you go. Now we know. That's nice. Uh, in all my years coming to Copart, I have never encountered uh, a letter like that that tells you like what's wrong with the vehicle. That was super cool. And there is a box back here, which I'm sure contains all the parts that they said it did. Bingo. She's a nice, nice SUV, guys. Real nice, or it was. It was a real nice SUV. Let's pop the hood. I'm curious to see what they've taken apart in here, guys. Well, oh, there we go. Woo. Look at all that plumbing. Isn't that beautiful? Look down there. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Well, seems legit enough to me. Uh, obviously, this one's not something I'd be interested in. I couldn't afford it. You know, that's the fact of the matter. I don't. I ain't got money like that. Comment below if you know who said that. Okay, I'll tell you. Shout out to Lucky Nation, man. Lucky's Wheels and Deals. Melly's World. I ain't got money like that. I know you're lying. I know you're lying. Anyway, anyway, guys, let's uh, let's go see what else we can get ourselves into today. Now this is a CDS car, which means it came from a dealer, all right? This is an Infiniti Q45. Used to be like the flagship Nissan Infiniti car. I've always loved them. I had one, not one quite this new. I had one that was a 1994 or a 95 Q45, and it was a blast to drive. I loved that car. And regardless of how many things started going wrong with it, it never left me stranded. Not ever. Look at these weird headlights. Almost looks like bug eyes right there, right? Very, very bizarre <laughs> looking headlights. I like it though. You know, Nissan Infinity. We're trying some new things. This thing's got 200,000 miles on it. Look at that little spider, man. What are you doing? Look at you. That is a wolf spider. He's a baby. Yeah, he's a baby wolf spider. Or do they call those hobo spiders? Well, I don't know. Anyway, it's crazy to see spiders. Like, we just got rid of all that snow and ice and sub-freezing temperatures. And uh, here we are with spiders and mosquitoes and everything coming out. Someone's broken into this car. Oh, hell no. He just landed on me. He jumped off of there and the wind caught him and threw him on me. No, dude. I don't do spiders, man. Uh, shoot. Boy, I hope he's not on me. I can feel his spider web, man. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, this car has been broken into more than a few times. Yeah. She's a little rough, guys, but she is listed as a run and drive. So I say it's worth giving it a shot. Let's take around a look around the rest of the car. Honestly, I think I kind of preferred the body style of my 90s Q45 over this one. Uh, flat tire, the hood, the roof, not the hood, is all dented up and tore up. This car is in pretty rough shape, guys. She's in pretty rough shape. But, you know, for the right price, I'd take a chance on her. I would take a chance on her, for sure. I don't even know what year this thing is. We're going to have to check that out real quick. All right. There we go. Let's see. We got a good-looking battery. The terminals are clean. Somebody's definitely been in here messing around. All right, let's uh, check the oil real quick. I hope that it's golden. It is. Well, I don't know how much oil is actually in there. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but I'd say the oil's okay. 
It doesn't have much coolant in there either. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm going to throw a jump pack on it and uh, let's fire it up. All right, let's see what she does if, if anything at all. I was kind of expecting to see an interior light or something come on. We got nothing. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of like a 3D gauge cluster, man. That is cool. I hear power steering pump whine. Infotainment center is coming to life there. All right, I guess. Yo, this you got to push the enter button. It's before touch screens. All right. Check engine light is on immediately. All right, let's put it in gear. Oh, supplemental airbag warning. Okay, can we not get out of that? Service engine scene. There we go. There we go. Ooh, she smells a little. Oh, the power steering is a. Uh, Power steering's not happy. Let's give it a little rev. Okay. Let's put it in gear. We even have a backup camera. Look at that. Wow. Oh, we must have an e-brake on. Well, it'd be nice if I knew where the e-brake was. I don't see an e-brake. Oh, we've got a sport suspension and everything too? Okay. Uh, it still doesn't help that I don't see an e-brake in this car. Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's see if it moves now. It wouldn't move before. There we go. Okay. Oh, motor mounts, transmission mounts, airbag, check engine light. <laughs> this thing's rough. <laughs> this thing is real rough. You got a Bose tape deck right there too. That's crazy. All right, guys, I think I'm done with this. Let's, uh, let's go look at something else. How about a 2016 Lexus GS350 F Sport? All right, yeah, she's got a little damage on the other side, but this side looks pretty good. Let's take a look inside. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't well thought out. <laughs> what about up here? Airbags. Yeah, okay. Wow. I'm surprised to see the bags blown on this side. How bad is it over here? It doesn't, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Really? All the bags. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> hey. You got your glimpse. Let's lift this airbag up. See, can we even see like anything in here? All right. Wow. Like practically every bag other than the passenger bag is blown. I mean, she took a pretty good hit right there. That's for dang sure. How's the frame rails looking? I'm going to guess probably a little bit damaged down there guys in fact i can already see it it's it's way back there but she's toast man golly that was a that was a hard hit that was a hard hit i guess now i understand why all the airbags are blown guys look at this oh oh my heart bleeds for this oh I fixed one of these back in the day. Now nah, it was not a Cummins, it was just your regular, what was it, a D50 or something like that. Um, I know the damage looks bad, but you know what's great about these old cars and trucks? Is everything unbolts from here, okay? You could take, when you take all this off, there will be nothing left but the frame rails and the engine. All right, the inner fender comes out. This piece down here, that comes completely off. So does this, when you take this whole thing apart, 
there'll be nothing left. The core support just unbolts. No welding, no special equipment or tools. You can just unbolt this whole doghouse and you're left with the engine. Look at that turbo right there, man. She is, okay, she's not beautiful right now. She could be though, she could be. And I, I do wonder if there's frame damage, if the, the front end has been shifted this way, or if it's just the accident shifted it this way. <sighs> yeah, it could just be that the front end was hit so hard here that it just pushed all the sheet metal over. That's what I'm thinking. Not that the frame rail has been bent out this way. I think it's just sheet metal. I really do. And a door. It's a long bed. Oh. The interior is, well, you know, it is what it is. It obviously doesn't run. I wouldn't try to start this thing anyway. I wouldn't want to damage anything, but wow, man, 341,000 miles on the odometer. And uh, looks like someone carried oil with them. All right, man, I just saw this, guys. This wasn't actually on my list, but I, I was walking by this and I was like, man, I got to show this to you guys. No rust, no nothing. She is just a beautiful, beautiful old truck that honestly doesn't need that much work to put back together again. Guys, I'm running out of time, but I do see a couple cars. That's a GXP. Oh, that's a GXP. Wait, wait, why are you here? Hold on, hold on. What happened to this one? This looks perfectly fine. Oh, we have to look at this. We have to look at this. Okay. Let's take a... a oh, that, that, that smells... That smells rank. That smells like some kind of turpentine or aircraft cleaner or something. Oh my goodness, that smells... That smells awful. Wow, okay. Oh, let's pop the hood on this one. What happened in here? What is that smell? This is weird. It's got somebody's house keys, probably garage keys, everything. Uh, there's pictures. This almost looks like a repo. That's what that looks like. I'm gonna leave that door open for just a little bit. TDK Corporation. All right, it says it's a non-runner, and it's probably not lying. Oh, wow. Yeah, what do you think, guys? I think she's been sitting for a while. Should we put a jump on it? We should put a jump on it. Let's at least hear it, man. It's an LS. Let's at least see if we can get it to crank. Oil, she's got oil. These things were notorious for the transmissions crapping out on them, though. Trannies were just horrible in these. All right, let's uh, let's put a jump on it. See what she does. Moment of truth. What do you think? I have no doubt that this one's dead. I I guarantee you this one doesn't run. Oh man, don't you love it? And the stupid lights on. All right, let's let's try this again. It's hard to find somewhere on here that you can stick this to reliably. And I don't want to get my wires caught up in the, uh... All right. Let's try this again. I would just like to hear it crank over, though. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like this. It smells awful, though. Like, it's... It, this, this smells so bad. No power. Wait, there it goes. Ooh, we got a heads-up display. Look at that heads up display right there. It runs. It runs. Okay, real quick, does it go into gear? It's got brakes. It does not seem to go into gear. Yeah, it does. It does. It moves. Okay. Backwards. Yeah. 
Look at that, it moves. No odometer. Uh, you have to go through the system here. There we go. Once you get through this, it should give you the the miles. Okay, now I'm in all kinds of over my head. Uh, hours, transmission, Ah, 142,000 miles. There it is. 142,000 miles. You got your heads-up display right there that appears to be working. Look at that. Woo! That's cool, man. Okay, I'm going to shut her down. Again, I'm going to get out of here because this car stinks. This car smells real bad, but I am going to tell you this, guys. It's, you saw it, it's listed as a non-runner, and it does run, and it does shift. So this, along with that, uh, that Datsun 280, we're not gonna tell anybody about these. We're gonna keep these a secret. And I got something else to show you right over yonder. Unless I find something really cool on my way back, this is gonna be the last one of the day, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm late. Oh. There's the other one I was gonna show you. Okay, all right. We got two more, which means I'm gonna have to run through these pretty quick. 94 Honda Prelude, guys. Love, 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 love this car. It's old, but it still looks sick. The style is still on point even today. Get the clear coat sanded down, put a fresh coat of paint on this, some dings and dents straightened out. This is a mean car. It also, gets up and moves i'm serious it's a quick little car those raccoons raccoon paw prints all right raccoons were playing around with the prelude this one does not have an oh it's an automatic uh sorry to sound so disappointed guys yeah dang it. it's a 98 prelude it actually looks super clean super clean it is not listed as a run or a drive i don't think i don't see anything on this at all unless i just missed it oh there it is i think right there okay let's see what's going on under the v-tech here oh now if i remember correctly these came in a dual cam and single cam so obviously having the dual cam this one is what oh what happened here? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> well, that's ground and that's positive. So let's check the oil. Got some pretty dark oil, pretty metallic looking oil, too. Uh oh. Sucks it's an automatic, man. Um, I'm not even reaching down there. I can see it, but I ain't, I ain't messing with it. Let's go ahead and hook the booster pack up because I don't have a lot of time. But I definitely want to look <coughs> at this one. Gates, timing belt was installed at 208,000 miles. Next is due at 268. Wow. <laughs> That's miles? Hold on. <laughs> Did I miss the mileage on this? 260. Holy, or 200. Oh, it's still, oh. Interesting. It's got 208,000 miles on it, which means someone just changed the timing belt. And yet here it is sitting at Copart. It's also got hail damage that I'm noticing. Why would this thing be at Copart if somebody just spent the money to have the timing belt done on it? That's a little bizarre. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Guys, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that don't sound good to me. Okay. That don't sound good at all, man. I 
I'll try it a couple more times. I'm giving up. Oh, she sounds like she's so close. That almost sounds like a fuel problem. Because it sounds like once you build up pressure, it tries to start. And then once it burns off the fuel, it's it's done. Alright, I want to end up burning up my booster pack. Yeah, it's an automatic. You got your really cool uh, acoustic feedback CD player. Not a bad looking car, but still definitely concerning that this thing just had the timing belt replaced. And here it is sitting at a sitting at Copart and that the terminals have been completely broken off of the battery. One is completely missing. So I don't I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, then there's that shiny kind of gray in the engine oil. Uh, yeah, I just, this one, uh, got kind of a bad feeling about this one. Let's move on to the last one, guys. Last one is going to be a beautiful old, what is it, a C10? Let's take a look. It is a C10. Oh, this is the right one, too. In my opinion, I know there's, there's those of you that are going to disagree with me, but this right here, is like my favorite pickup truck of all time. This is an old international. Favorite pickup trucks of all time, man. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, dang, son. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay. I wasn't looking where I was stepping. And uh, I done stepped myself in some, some, uh, some bad stuff, man. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I can, uh, dang, man. Can I even get back there? <laughs> you got the, uh, well, look at the trans transmission sitting in the bed right there. Yeah, that don't look sketchy. I'll sit on top of the pumpkin, so it's all right, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming you put a wood floor in this, right? Uh, that'd be my guess anyway. I love this step side bed on these old trucks. I really do. I think it looks so sick. Let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can get back up here without sinking again. Oh yeah, too bad. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Walk it off, man. Anyway, she is a solid looking truck, guys. I haven't had a chance to see the interior yet. Oh, there's a lot of parts in there for it too. Uh, this door handle is broken. Doesn't work. All right, let's check the other side. Then we'll pop the hood and see if there's any. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, can I can I get you guys in there enough to? <sighs> Honestly, that's as good as we're gonna get, guys. The interior looks to be in pretty good shape. It's a '71. That's uh, <sighs> uh, where's the hood? There is a motor in it. I can see it sitting right there it looks like somebody had recently dropped that sucker in there uh what i don't know is how to get this hood open there's got to be a secondary release is it down here let me see if i can find it guys uh i'm pretty sure then 71 the hood release was not inside the truck so it's almost got to be down here somewhere guys i can't get in the truck and I do believe there is a hood release inside of the driver's uh, driver's side there. I just can't get into it without sinking in the mud again. Um, what I can see is it's got an engine, but there's not much else in there. Uh, let's see if I can get you a good vantage. What you see right there, you can see there's a motor. Looks like a little small block 350 or whatever. Uh, there's no intake, uh, no exhaust that I can see, nothing. Just kind of a kind of a long block, just kind of hanging out in there doing a whole lot of nothing but I mean at least it's got something in there guys it's definitely a project uh long-term type of project but there it is guys it is 10 minutes to closing 
I got to get out of here before I piss them off. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the Copart walk around, give the video a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a big thumbs down. Drop those comments down below. Speaking of down below, not, <laughs> no, not like that. Uh, Teespring, guys, I've got new merch down below under the video, guys. It's through Teespring. People have been buying it. Like, I've never sold merch like this before. So apparently you guys are loving it. So definitely uh, go down there to Teespring, check it out. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuild. So you can see lots of stuff going on way before you're ever gonna see it on video. And we got some really cool things coming up in the very near future. So stay tuned. Watch me on Instagram and Facebook, guys, Auto Auction Rebuilds for those posts. With that, subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. I'm gonna get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon in the next one.